This is your flex mic. You have one button to turn it on and turn it off, and the same button also mutes it. It hangs comfortably around your neck with the magnetic lanyard, and you have adjusters on either side so you can adjust it to the proper length. It needs to be sitting just below the collarbone. That puts it in the proper position so that there's clear audio throughout the classroom. Whether you're standing in a corner, looking down at a student, looking over your shoulder, or at the whiteboard, everyone throughout the whole room can hear your voice clearly. And there's no need to project or to use your teacher voice. Just talk in soft conversational tones. This may take a little getting used to, but once you do, you'll realize that there's less stress in the classroom. Students will respond more positively and they will be more attentive. And for yourself, at the end of the day, you'll have more energy and less vocal strain. The first time you use your flex mic, it should be on the charger ready for use. The blue mic status light indicates the microphone is powered on. It will stay on during charging. Remove the microphone from the charger. You'll see that the charging light turns off and the blue mic status light turns red. This indicates the microphone is on but muted. The flex mic automatically mutes when you remove it so it stays quiet while you put it on. When you have the flex mic around your neck and positioned properly, go ahead and tap the power mute button. You'll notice the mic status light will turn blue indicating the audio is live. At this point, you should hear your voice coming through the classroom speaker. Now we need to set the volume on the flex mic. A common mistake is to set the volume too high, but this can result in students becoming fatigued when hearing loud volumes throughout the day. It can also result in feedback if you get too close to the speaker. Optimum volume is where you can just barely hear your voice through the classroom speaker. It's helpful to have another person to test the volume, but generally, out of the box, the volume is set at an appropriate level. If you need to make an adjustment, you can use the up and down buttons on the flex mic. If the volume is still too high or low, you can make further adjustments at the system or the media connector. Once the volume is set, teachers usually don't need to adjust it throughout the day. Just begin teaching as you normally would. If you want to have a private conversation or stop the flex mic for any reason, just tap the power button and the mic status light will turn red and your microphone is muted. There's no need to power your flex mic down during the day because the batteries will last about eight hours. But if you do want or need to power it down, just press and hold the power button for about two seconds. You will see the blue mic status light go off. Then when you want to power it on again, press and hold the power button. The mic status light will blink blue. This indicates that it is linking to the system.